Hello guys and welcome back to this channel where today guys I'll be showing you how to create custom reports in Zendix Insights. So the first thing guys that you need to do is go and uh, to the Zendix.com and you'll be greeted by their official website. When you're there you just need to go and log into your profile. If guys you do, uh, do, do not have a profile you can always go and uh, create your own profile but if you do not know how to do that you can always go to our YouTube channel where you have plenty of how to Zendix videos. Now that we got that out of the way, guys, let's see what we actually have in front of us here. So as you can see, here we have the Zendix official page where we have some options about your account. So you can create your account, see the ticketing system, agent productivity, messaging in live chat, help center, reporting and analytics. Also, you have uh, everything of your tickets here. So you can see your unsolved tickets, pending tickets. We have the recently updated tickets and you can click on a ticket by itself to maybe edit it, merge it, mark it as spam, or delete it if you want to do that. Of course, we have everything about the customers here, where you can go and change your customer names, emails. You can even go and add new customers, as you can see in the top right corner. Now, uh, in the top right corner, of course, again, we have the everything but your profile, where you can go and view your profile. You can also see product updates, get help, support help center, keyboard shortcuts, give feedback about privacy policy and the sign out option. But now guys, let's see how to create custom reports in Zendix Insight. So basically, this is pretty easy and you just need to follow these few step, steps. So explore in the system reporting analytics. So in explore, you can create reports and dashboards. That's basically what you have to do. You have to go to the explore and there you can create your reports and dashboards in no time. So guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.